is touching the truth. Alright, so today I'll be going over how fast Accelerate is, that being one of Ben 10's many aliens throughout the entire franchise. When it comes to, to long distance travel, he traveled the entirety of Mount Rushmore in 10.55 seconds. Mount Rushmore covers around 2 square miles or 5 square kilometers, which is well, which means Accelerate went around 482.5 kilometers per hour. He also ran up a skyscraper in a second, more or less. A skyscraper is built at a height of at least 150 meters. That's around 540 kilometers per hour. Going off of this feed right here, it seems like that Accelerate moved from third base to somewhere in the outfield before the baseball could move even a little bit. The size of the line to the third base to barely into outfield looks like 42.75 meters or 635 pixels and the Size of the line from the home base to barely uh, into the outfield is 1440.90 meters or 597 pixels. The size of the given 27.4 meter line or 407 pixels line will help this calc a lot. For the ball's movement during this time period, seemingly as it didn't really give to shift at all, I'll use the lowest possible measurement for it, that being 1 pixel. The average height of a US white male at 17 is likely around 176 centimeters or 225 pixels, and the Baseball movements is one pixel or zero point zero zero seven eight twenty two meters. Pitched high school baseball travels at I don't know in the seventy miles per hour range from a decent team. According to this page right here, the bat actually tends to add more speed to this baseball, but just like a little bit. We will be using the lowest mile per hour figure on the exit speed of a bat for a high school player for the high end. However, we also know that baseballs can speed up as they fall. According to this page and the estimates of the distance from home base we got earlier, the baseball must have been going at at least... 40 miles per hour. However, considering that some people also treat baseballs as having no speed upon leaving the bat, which is wrong, we'll consider this as an absolute low end in the numbers for the time frame, which I'll put on screen for the audience here for a few seconds. And then we'll get the speed for both the high end and the low end. So at the end of the day, Accelerate can be scaled from subsonic to massively hypersonic. But yeah, that's about it. See ya.